Have you at any point acquired some customers but don't really know how to keep them loyal? Obviously, it's all about relationships and being of service, which is easier to say than done. But this is why in this episode number 61, I'm going to share with you my five easy ways on how I'm basically keeping on nurturing these relationships with my customers. So stay tuned. Terry here from TerryVAlexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can monetize your brand easier and faster. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and a new freebie attached to it to empower you in your own way within your business and or in your personal life. This week, I wanna share with you my five easy strategy on how to keep your customers happy and loyal so it prevents them to leave at any time. Because let's face it, you know, there's a lot of people that make this mistake, which is to avoid at all costs, which I've made myself, so I'm guilty and charged. Uh, but this mistake is to basically that we think that we need to, we acquire the customer and that's it, it's all done. Whereas actually, Keeping the customer is what will make you thrive and make sure that you're creating credibility for your name as well as for your brand. In fact, I tend to call my customers clients because there's kind of like this sense of being of service and personal service when we talk about clients rather than customs. So my first customer retention strategy is to keep on checking on them. Yes, getting the order and the sales in is really cool and nice, but most important is to actually check on them on a regular basis to make sure that they are happy with you. Their the order, they've received it, and that they like the, the product that they've received. You wanna show that you are truly, genuinely interested because this is what people are following essentially. You wanna be interested rather than interesting. You could take them on a journey as soon as they receive their products to make sure that they have the best experience as they go along with it. And every other week sort of things, giving them a little nudge to say hello and not necessarily only about the product, but just genuinely say hello or at the very least once a month. My second strategy is to make them feel welcome. The way you can do it is to by adding them into your community as soon as possible so they feel part of something which is bigger than themselves. If you don't have one already, I would definitely suggest to create one. And in this community, which could be on Facebook, like a Facebook group, you would share some valuable, relevant content that is helping them on their journey um, with your product. Also part of this community base, you can share some social proofs of other people's results, which is an extra bonus. And as you know, each and every week, I do also put together a freebie for you to be empowered in your own way, in your business and or in your personal life. This week, because we're talking about customer retention, I thought it would be very appropriate to bring a brand new freebie for you, which is my CRM spreadsheet that I personally use in my own business in order to keep track of, of all my customers, even my teammates, and also be on top of everything. So if you wanna have access to this CRM spreadsheet, blank of course, and also a video training on how to use it effectively, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. 
If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platform, just click into the description section. You will see a link that will take you back to my blog. And below this video again, you will see a massive yellow button you cannot miss at all, which will give you access to the CRM spreadsheet you can use in your own business to keep on track on all the actions and activities that you're taking and doing within your business. My third customer retention strategy is to build their belief. People love to know that what they're buying from you is really working. What they essentially buy from you is not a shake, but you know, a weight loss that they want to drop. It's not an anti-aging skincare that they are buying, but less wrinkles. So you want to talk about your product in benefit, which is going to be relevant to them and build up their also belief in what you're talking about. The way you can do that as well is to share some testimonies as well as success, success stories that you have in your portfolio or in your team with your customers. So they can really see, you know, that there's some other people that can be for them, use the same product, which works and gave some results. My fourth strategy is to show them more. To make your customer feel even more involved into your community, you could invite them to an event that your company is putting together so they can be, you know, closer to the people, the product, getting to know more, only if they want to know more, of course. This way you will have fun with them, they will get blown away by the event that you're going to take them to and that is going to unfold in front of their own eyes. And you know, who knows, they might even sign up right there and then because of everything they've been, you know, hearing, listening, seeing, touching, feeling during that event. My fifth and last strategy is to make them feel and see it for themselves. The most important of all for them to be passionate about the product that you're offering them is to get them a result as fast as possible. When they start having some results with the product that they're using, the chances are they're going to keep on using it. And more than that, they are going to recommend to recommend it to, to other people as well as refer people to you. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. Really in conclusion, it's, you know, it's no more complicated than keeping on nurturing this relationship that you have with your customer. And you know, it's actually easier to keep on nurturing that relationship rather than acquiring customer. When you've acquired a customer already, you've done most of the work. You just need to keep on doing it and making sure that everything is fine and you're serving them in the best way possible. And remember, I've got your bank with my CRM spreadsheet guide, which will help you put all your contacts in one place and keep on top of it all at all time. If you want to have access to this CRM spreadsheet that I've put together with you, for you, as well as a guide, a video guide that is going to explain you how to use it, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, smash the share button, send it to your fellow makeup artists, your fellow network marketers, entrepreneurs, whoever needs these trainings and you feel that it will be serving them, send it to them. It will be, you know, giving them the same information or anyone that even needs a CRM spreadsheet system, that is the one you can send them as well. It would be very helpful so they can keep track on everything at all time with a great system in place. Question of the week. How do you keep in touch with your clients? I'd love to know what strategy do you use? Do you use Facebook? Do you use social media? Do you use email list? What is it that you're using in order to keep in touch with your clients? Share with me in the comment section. Give us some ideas if you have some, or let me know if the ones that I've shared with you today is giving you maybe some you know ideas to implement as well i would love to see where you're at on your journey if there's anything else that i can help you or anything that you can bring to us and enlighten us with what you're already doing which is working for you thank you so much for tuning in i love connecting with you each and every single week it's a pleasure to do these video trainings for you which hopefully you get value from and this video training is a wrap bye bye, -bye.